Hey, are you settling for money problems when you could be a money magnet instead? Well, if you are, then this video is made for you. So welcome, my name is Natalie Ledbow. And if this is your first time here, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Now the following five exercises that I'm about to share with you are designed to start raising your inherent ability to attract wealth and prosperity, also known as your wealth vibrations. So here's the thing, people with low wealth vibrations, they often find themselves in a state of financial struggle. You know, they have an unhealthy relationship with money and they can never seem to retain or grow the wealth that they manage to earn. But by raising your wealth vibrations, you'll find money and opportunities coming to you with far less resistance. So you'll develop financial beliefs and financial thought patterns that draw prosperity towards you instead of pushing it away from you. And even your financial habits will start changing for the better, allowing you to break free from pitfalls like debt or overspending. Now, I recommend trying each of these exercises at least once then use the ones that resonate with you the most, preferably all of them, if that's possible, at least a few times a week. Now, you may be surprised at just how much these simple exercises can really impact your life and your bank account. So exercise number one is releasing your money story. Now, we all have our own beliefs and assumptions about money. For example, people think that money doesn't grow on trees or more money, more problems or money is really easy to make, or money is hard to make. There's more than enough money to go around, or I'm just not very good with money, or I'm great with money, or I'm far too gone to make money. And there are so many more, and I'm sure that you could add some to the list. And yet none of these beliefs actually come from us. Instead, they're implanted in us by our mentors and our friends and the media and society. You know, even a song that we hear on the radio can subconsciously impact how we feel about money. So the important question to ask is this, is your money story helping you or hurting your financial success? Now the purpose of this exercise is to weed out your negative beliefs and assumptions about money so that you can get a better money story that serves you in your life right now. So the instructions on how to do this is simple. Number one, Take five minutes to write down all of your money beliefs that you can think of, both negative and positive. Number two, for each of these questions, ask yourself, is this belief moving me towards wealth or away from wealth? Number three, if it's moving you towards wealth, then keep it. Otherwise, create a positive belief to replace the negative ones. So for example, if you believe that money doesn't grow on trees, <laughs> your new belief could be that there is more than enough money to go around for everybody. All right, number four, once you've replaced all of your negative financial beliefs, compile everything into your new money story and display it somewhere visible, like at your desk or on your bedroom mirror, so that you see it every day. And remind yourself of this new empowering money story that you've created for yourself. All right, exercise number two is elevating your money emotions. So if you're familiar with the law of attraction, you'll know that one of the fundamental rules of reality is that the energy that you receive is a direct reflection of the energy that you put out. And what influences this energy? Well, it's your emotions. So have you ever paid attention to the emotions that you have when it comes to money? You know, does the thought of money give you a sense of confidence or, and calmness? Or does money fill you with fear and anxiety and thoughts of scarcity? So if your emotions are not calibrated for abundance, you'll often find yourself rejecting lucrative opportunities and adopting poor financial beliefs and habits. And then you'll be constantly struggling to get by. So this exercise solves that problem by elevating your money emotions. So the instructions on how to do this is number one, take five minutes to write down all the emotions that come to mind when you think about money. Number two, pick out the negative emotions and for each one ask yourself, 
Where in my past did this emotion possibly come from? Number three, more often than not, that negative money emotion can be traced back to your childhood. So once you've pinpointed the source, make the decision to acknowledge that this emotion is not true, but rather it's just a negative interpretation that was perpetuated by your younger self. So let me give you an example. If money fills you with anxiety because you saw your parents struggling with money, just remind yourself that this does not have to be your reality and that many people in similar situations have achieved financial success. Okay, number four, once you've processed each of these negative money emotions, then make the choice to release them from your subconscious mind. Remind yourself that they don't serve you in any way and that they are no longer part of you. All right, exercise number three is to practice money gratitude. Now, gratitude is one of the most powerful manifestation enhancers known to mankind. <laughs> Now you can make a tremendous difference to your wealth vibrations by simply choosing to be more grateful for what you already have. Now this exercise is actually less of an exercise that's more of a guideline for how to practice money gratitude in your life from now on. So instructions on how to do this. Number one, practice the thank you in. When you receive money from any source, just take a moment to be grateful. Be grateful that you're paid for your services, that you're able to do work that people value, that you live in a world of abundance and so on. Number two is to practice the thank you out. So remember to also express money when you pay for anything, whether it's from bills to meals or you know weekend outings. Remind yourself of how amazing it is to actually have enough money to pay for these perks so that you can live in comfort and security. Now the magic of doing this is that not only do you feel better about yourself and your life, but you're also starting to attract more of what you're grateful for. All right, exercise number four is mirroring successful people. So what do you see when you look beyond the affluence and the security that highly successful people live in? You know, what are the personal qualities that they have that you admire? Could it be their drive and determination? Could it be their confidence? their sense of curiosity and adventure, their generosity, their financial wisdom, their ability to network and to build valuable connections. So what do you think would happen if you started to adopting their positive qualities in your own life? Now it is possible that you too may start to experience similar outcomes as they do. And the answer here is yes, you will. And here's how to do it. Your instructions are number one. Take five minutes to write down all of the positive attributes of your most successful role models that you would like to adopt. Number two is to review each of these attributes and then write down how you would harness each of them to elevate your life. So for example, if you admire your role models determination, write down which area of your life you could improve from a stronger sense of determination. Number three, make a conscious decision to live by these new attributes every single day. You know, consider sticking them up on the wall so that you're constantly reminded of them and aware of them and do a self check in every morning and every evening to see if you've been living in accordance with them. Okay, exercise number five is visualizing abundant wealth. So aside from gratitude, visualization is another great manifestation enhancer. Now this is due to one simple fact that you may have heard about the human mind. Our subconscious minds are not fully able to differentiate between visualization and reality. So when you visualize something in your mind's eye, your mind actually thinks it's real and it starts to think and act accordingly. So when it comes to attracting wealth, you can harness this phenomenon to rapidly raise your wealth vibrations and to train your subconscious mind to think and act and emote like a successful and wealthy person. All you need to do is the right visualization. So the instructions on how to do this. First of all, revisit the successful person attributes that you wrote down in exercise four. Then in your mind's eye, start visualizing a scenario where you're embodying one or more of those attributes that you wrote down and that you want to adopt. So let's say for example, you can see yourself being determined in the face of adversity or confidently networking in a room full of professional peers 
or you know being generous with your money knowing that you have way more than enough for yourself and for your loved ones now remember to infuse as much sensory detail and emotion as possible into your visualization visualize not just what you see but what can you hear what are you touching what can you smell what are you tasting in this scenario and then visualize emotionally how it feels to be there as if it's happening now really feel those raw emotions and then do this visualization at least once a week and keep trying out new scenarios to keep your mind engaged so what if you could multiply your wealth in just a few minutes a day well if you liked these exercises you'll love my five minute prosperity wealth coaching program that empowers you with a lifetime of high wealth vibrations. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description box below so that you can join me and multiply your income, eliminate your debt and poor financial habits and create the financial abundance of your dreams.